Hello, class. Welcome to lecture 19. We will talk about A-B testing. I'm your instructor, Ms. Laura Lowe. We are in the last lecture in week 7, in module 7. In the previous two lectures, we talk about different distribution and we give you three examples about the hypothesis testing. So in today's lecture, we will show you another hypothesis testing. We call it A-B testing. And we also will talk about what is the permutation test. Before we start talking about A-B testing, let's do a quick review about the p-value we introduced in the previous lecture. The p-value the p actually is an area under the empirical distribution under the null hypothesis. So we did a couple different hypothesis examples. So we have two viewpoints. We say one is no hypothesis, that's from the model. Then we have alternative hypothesis. So usually we will, according to the no hypothesis, the assumption from the model, we will do the simulation. We do the simulation many, many times, then we got empirical distribution of the test statistic. So from our previous example about the GSI example from lecture 18. So you can see here is our distribution under the null hypothesis. So we have our observed data here. We are not sure. It's not very clear for this um, diagram, the distribution. How should we um, favor or should we reject the no hypothesis or accept the no hypothesis. So that's why we introduced about the p-value. So the p-value actually is the area on the tail. We can calculate uh, because the empirical distribution, we have the percent per unit. So we can calculate the area from the distribution. That will be in percent. So remember, in the last lecture, we also talked about you have first convention. Uh, we will accept if uh, the tail is 5% area for the 5%. Then afterward, that's our acceptance for our no hypothesis. And also, you can either do 1%. That's all according to the hypothesis testing you are dealing with, the topic dealing with. So in our example, we decide to check the 5% um, area for the tail. So then you have two different ways to get the 5% points, right? So one thing we do is, in order to get that 5%, we can sort all the data one by one. So then according to your sample data size, we count the 5% is which um, position for the number. So then that's here, you see we have the yellow line here. Then below that, that's our 5% area. Or the other way we can do is, according to the observed data, we can calculate the same thing. Compared to all the data here, so this observed data position located in where. So from our calculation, we find out this observed data actually is a little more than 5%. Uh, so that's why in our previous example, we accept the no hypothesis. The data is consistent with the distribution of the no hypothesis. So that's we can compare the observed data to see on uh, the location. Um, then they will be in the reject or uh, if they are in the reject reject area or not. So one question is, people will say, how about this red dot is just exact on the 5%. On this chance actually is really, really very small. Uh, because if you say 5%, it's maybe they are 5.01 or even 5.001. Uh, that still come. But one thing, if, if they are exact 5%, uh, usually they will still favor to the no hypothesis because they are on the border line, so it still can be accepted. So that's the p-value we review from the last lecture. And also, uh, we see this slide last time too. So your p-value, the 
formal net is observed significant level. So the p-value is, according to our new hypothesis, we draw our histogram from the empirical distribution. So that's according to the test statistic. So then it's equal to the value that we observe in the data, or even further in the direction of the alternative. So we just want to see that kind of is the p-value is the line, we will decide we want to accept alternative or accept our model. Okay, so for now, let's continue to introduce our new topic today. Uh, so for this lecture, we want to talk about A-B testing. So what is A-B testing? So basically, we are comparing two samples. So we compare value of the sampled individual in group A with the value of the sample individual in group B. So basically, we have two samples group from our, we draw that from the population. So then the question is, we want to see, do these two sets of value come from the same underlying distribution or not? So in order to answer this question, we need to perform the statistical testing. So that's what we call the A-B testing. So in other words, let's say we have a population. Okay, so from this population, we got two group data from our population. And these two group data, we have some differences we want to see. So mostly our no hypothesis will be the two sets of the group. They came from the same distribution. Then we have our alternative to see the difference from these two group. So in order to simulate that, uh, like earlier, we have those examples that are all the same, right? We have our hypothesis, we have two viewpoints. So in order to decide which one we will favor, so then we will according to the, under the no hypothesis, we have our simulation. So then we will compare the result. So in order to do the two sample group from the hypothesis, so then the same thing, we were answering the question using this, we still need to choose a test statistic. And this performing testing, we call the A-B testing. To help you understand, of course, let's see the example will be uh, explained itself better. So here we have the example. So we have a data set that's a random sample of mother of the newborns. So then we want to compare two groups. The first group is the birth weight of the babies of mothers who smoke during the pregnancy. So then group B is, we also have the baby weight um, for the mother who didn't smoke. So the question is, could the difference due to the chance alone? So on the other hand, that's me earlier we say, our no hypothesis is this two group just from the same distribution. So maybe the difference is not because of smoking. The difference just, just the random data or just due to the chance, our randomness. So be more clear here is our hypothesis. So our hypothesis, the same thing, we have no hypothesis and alternative viewpoint. The no hypothesis say the distribution of the birth weight of the babies in the two group are the same. There are difference in the sample just because the chance, just because the randomness. So that's me. See here we have our population. Then we have two groups. The two group weight for the baby, they have some difference, but the difference of the distribution just simply because of the randomness. So that's our no hypothesis. So our alternative is in the population, the babies of mother who smoked weight less on average than the baby of the non-smoker. 
So you can see here, we only say we very specific to say the baby weight will be lighter、uh, from the smoking mom than the baby of non-smoker. So that's one thing is very good is it's very straightforward. They only say is lighter, so that will be in one specific direction. So in this example, we can just simply find the average of the two group, then we subtract each other. Ah,、uh, so then we using the group B is the smoker. The baby average baby weight minus the average baby weight from the group B, because we say they are lighter. So if they are negative number, so then we can say yeah, that's alternative. Is consi is consistent with the term alternative. Ah,、uh, remember post the video all the time. Ah,、uh, make sure you read the slide, the description carefully, and you understand what that mean. So that's our hypothesis, our no point, ah,、uh, no viewpoint and alternative viewpoint. So now, of course, after you have your two viewpoint, we need to think about how should we do the simulation. So the first thing, how should we choose our test statistic? So that's why here actually give us a hint, ah,、uh, because they say the average weight, ah,、uh, is light from in the alternative viewpoint. So that's why in the test statistic, we have our group A is non-smokers, and group B is smokers. So the statistic we can choose is we just need to find the average from these two group, then we subtract each other. Okay, since we say that's lighter, ah,、uh, so then we just using the group B average minus the baby weight average from group A. So since if this is B is lighter, so then will be negative, right? So if they have negative value of this statistic. Then we favor the alternative. It sounds good. Yeah. So if that's fine, so then we can go to see our demo. Let's see the our data set first. Okay. So in our data set, uh, so the same thing that's run our library. Uh, so our data set called baby dot csv file. So then you can see here is our table. So our table we have the baby weight. Ah,、uh, so here the unit is ounce. Okay. So then they have the gestational dates. They have the mom's age, a、uh, mom's height. So then, mom pregnancy weight. Ah,、uh, so you can see be careful is the baby weight. The unit is in ounce, but the mom's weight is in pound. So here the last column, the smoker. True or false? That give us the group A and the group B. So of course, the false mean the non-smoker group. True mean the smoker group. So you can see we about almost twelve hundred row here. Okay. So since we only care about the baby weight and the smoker group, so that's why here that's only got this two column. Okay. So we got the Maternal smoker column and the baby weight column. So then we have a new table we call smoking and birth weight. Okay. So then, uh, you can if you want to see that, right? So then we can just see that. Okay. Uh, so that's our table we interesting about. Uh, so of course the first thing we want to see, um. Yeah, you can see we want they have either false is group A, ah,、uh, so true is group B. So then maybe we just see for this table how many count in our in each group. Ah,、uh, so that's why we group the smoker column. Ah,、uh, so then we see here. Ah,、uh, so you can see the group A we have seven fifteen count. Then group B we have seven fifty nine. Of course, you also can put that in histogram so quickly to see the distribution about the about the information about the histogram. So you can see that's the group of the birth weight, and、uh, so that's the percentage.
So the blue mean the group A. So then the yellow mean the group B. So we can pretty much see they are pretty symmetrical. Uh, then, so here, um, the distribution, they look very similar, uh, just the size a little different. So in the next two video, next video, we will do the testing.